afternoon friends decided that I would start crocheting patches together for the for the blanket that I've made. So that's I've done one one line so far and I'm gonna go and start doing the next one. I just kept going with putting the patches together. So this is the middle section ready to have other bits put onto it, but hopefully I'll I'll keep going and sort of not tonight but over the over the week and hopefully by the weekend I'll be finished. Hi friends, how are you? It's Monday morning, Monday evening. I think it's Monday, yeah, it's Monday. Sorry I didn't um, do any sort of chit-chat last night. I was just not in the mood for chit-chat actually yesterday at all. I think I did some some vlogging of me doing some work on my the crochet blanket I'm making for my other half. And um, we're getting there with it. We are getting there, so that's good. Um, today has been what we've done today. I've done a wee bit of more uni prep, as it were. I'm doing, sort of looking at things that I want to look at um, in little small chunks. So I started to reread a book on, on about how to organise your PhD, blah, blah, blah. Um, I had sort of started it when I did start my PhD all those many years ago. But I got so busy doing... All the things that I that I was supposed to be doing and all the stuff that my supervisor was saying to me, oh, you've got to be doing, got to be doing, got to be doing, that it got chucked to the side. But I'm now taking the time to read it, and I'm I'm grateful that I am taking this time to read it. I think it's going to be very very useful. So I have been reading as well. Um, tonight I finished this book. And really enjoyed it. It's to do with like a dog trainer and stuff. You may be saying to yourself, but you're reading the the Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Yeah, I was. Beth and I both started it on Saturday. We both finished it on Saturday, as in we DNF'd it. We um, both got to about eight and a half page, eight and a half chapters in. Thought not really enjoying this not connecting with the characters or anything so we decided no nah, we're not gonna we're not gonna read it anymore so that was the book i i picked up in its stead um so tonight i'm going to do another chapter of night road by Kristen hannah and then on my kindle i've picked up a net galley backlist for myself um called his shy cinderella i can't remember who i can't remember who wrote it um, I started it th tonight, I've read the first wee bit and I'm actually, it's, it's quite good, it's to do with a country western singer, so that, that'd be quite interesting. And a lady who's got a single, a single mum, so that could be quite interesting, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be reading. Um, I'll try and get some more vlogging done this week, I'll try and sort of make a point of, of doing because I know a lot of people like my, my vlogs. So I will do my best to try and sort of keep you updated as the things I'm doing. But for now, I'm going to head off and I'm going to read. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hi, friends. Um, I haven't really been doing much this morning. I've been reading my two chapters of my PhD book, and I had to rip a couple, a square out of my crochet blanket, and I've just started the new, a new, you know, to put it back together again. But at the moment, I'm just spending some time sort of planning my week out and what I want to, want to, what I want to achieve and what I want to get done this week. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm having to redo a patch for the blanket. Um, the way the blanket turned out, it was going to be too big, so I have had to rip it out and um, starting it again. But it shouldn't take me long to get this this bit done and then hopefully get more of the blanket put together. Spending some time just catching up on some YouTube videos, um, I did manage to get my crochet blanket sorted, so it's just ready now for be putting together tomorrow. But I thought I'd just spend some time this uh, this evening watching some ca watching some YouTube videos. Afternoon, friends. I am um, just exporting or finishing up the editing and exporting of my reading vlog, which will go live some point this afternoon. I uh, spent the morning looking for articles or information about practical theology um, as probably trying to go and use some of that within my research. So I've done that this morning, um, had a shower, 
but that's it now very sort of it's been a good productive morning but also frustrating but hopefully i'll get this up and um this hasn't been frustrating or anything it's just trying to get other things done as well but um yeah so that's what i'm doing at the moment hope you're having a good day and i'll speak to you later just watched the first female vice president of the usa be inaugurated what a day for women listening to joe biden make his first speech Ian and friends, how are you? Hope you're well and you've had a good day. Mine's been not bad. I've had a stinking headache in this afternoon. So I ended up sleeping in the sofa very really well. And it sort of went away and then it came back. So I took some took some some medication that'll help it go away. Um excuse me. Yeah, I'm tired tonight. I've uh, done a wee bit of reading but not much. Just my head didn't feel like it. Um but I've managed to read up to chapter thirteen, start of chapter thirteen of Night Road by Chris and Hannah. I'm actually enjoying it, it's getting it's at at the crux point now. Um so it'll be interesting to see what happens from here. And I'm also reading his Country Cinderella on my Kindle, which is a Mills and Boone and uh, Nick Galley pick. So I'm I think about sixty or seventy percent through that. And I'm enjoying it as well. It's it's really nice because it's like just it's just concentrating on like the two main characters, which is really nice. I like that when that happens. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. Not much else doing. Just you know, plutering about as the saying goes. But um, hopefully I'll have things to do tomorrow, and I'll I'll do some more vlogging. But I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye. Look what I woke up to this morning. Yay, we have snow. Okay, it's not very much, but we have snow, which is very, very important here because we hardly ever get snow. So it's very nice to see some snow. Dad's just managed to take a photo of this camera. We have snow, so they're taking photographs of the snow while I am having fun reading this wonderful book. So it's actually quite interesting and I am, I am quite enjoying it. So yeah, that's what I'm doing at the moment while they're taking pictures of the oh. snow. Semester of my master's degree. Okay, how do I get through doing some exercise on the bike? Um, we are I listen to YouTube videos. Have been all year. So um, I'm listening to I'm Beth at right Soul Stand Inc. Um, my one-year-old's daycare provider. So there we go. Fun way to get my evening. exercise done. Evening friends, hope you're well and you've had a nice day. Um, ours has been better than yesterday's. Um, what I didn't tell you was going on yesterday was that hackers or scammers had scammed my parents' bank account basically and cleared it. Um, they had phoned, sent them from the bank and even they actually have the software now that basically mimics the the number of your bank. Um, <clears throat> and we spent yesterday and today trying to sort it all out. Very grateful to the bank and to the people who work there that everything is fine, everything's sorted, money's back in the account. But it's been a very stressful, very worrying and upsetting time that people are just so horrible. I'm being very kind here at the moment. I'm not going to tell you what I think, but because if I do, it will be... Not very nice words that are going to come out of my mouth, and I don't want that. Um, but yeah, but thankfully, people sorted this out for us. Everything is now okay, and we are now very, very wary, or we'll be very wary if somebody phones us going, oh, we're from such and such. We were anyway, but we're going to be even more caref careful now, because we now know that scammers can mimic the bank telephone number. So, um, yeah, so that was part of today. Um, the beautiful part of today, though, apart from the fact of the lovely people that we dealt with, was I woke up, we woke up to snow this morning, and it was just, oh, just so nice. You'll have seen a little clip before this of the snow. Okay, it wasn't very much, but it was snow, and it was beautiful, and it was just really nice. Um, what else have I done today? 
I made some cards for a friend to go in with a with a letter and some stickers and I finished a book. I finished um his country Cinderella by Karen Rose Smith. Oh it was a beautiful, beautiful book. Um but a country and western singer who was hiding out in this house in the mountains. Excuse me, I'm picking my nails, I know I shouldn't. Um and the lady that was cleaning the house for him, they met. They shouldn't have met, but they did. Um, and they became friends. Well, they became more than friends. And she had a little boy called Joshua, who was just so sweet. He was four and a half, and he was gorgeous. He really was. Um, so the lady's name was Jeanette. Um, and, oh gosh, was the... the man's name was Zane, that's right. And it was basically the, the story of how they came to be together or how they got together um, and why he was hiding out in the mountain, etc, etc. Et it was beautifully written and what I did really like was that the story just was th those two main characters but there were some side characters but they didn't play a major role as it were. So that was just really, really nice. I really enjoyed it. I gave it a three and a half stroke four out of five I, I did enjoy it and i would recommend it so i've read finished that and then i've picked up simply irresistible by jill shalvis this is number one of the lucky harbour series i've read a couple of chapters of it i'm really enjoying it um so yes yeah, so i'm just going to lie lie in bed now for the next few while and read and then hopefully I slept last night, so hopefully I'll sleep again tonight. Sometimes I have a, because of my ME, I have, I have trouble sleeping, but hopefully tonight will be touch wood. Hope you another good night. But I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Frustration is putting a bit onto the blanket to discover that you've sewn, you've put two patches together the wrong way. Because I want all the seams showing up the way. This one that doesn't happen, so I'm gonna have to, I'm having to unpick this to flip these two over. Oh, talk about frustration! But never mind, I'll be I'll be happy when this is done. Well, that's it together. Um, I still have got bits to do to it. Obviously, tie in all, uh, weave in all the yellow ends, but I'm going to do a border around the whole of it as well. Watching Rebecca from the Colourful Book Nester. Um, just catching up on some videos. The book I'm reading gives you little sayings at the beginning of every um, chapter, which are really cute. They're really nice. It's a really nice touch that I, I'm liking this one. If you, have, if you don't know which book I'm reading, I am reading Jill Shalvis's Simply Irresistible. It's the first book of the Lucky Harbour series. But this is chapter 12's little saying so we're just gonna spend some time reading tonight before book group i just did some reading so me along the background noise you can hear is there's a bit of a happening soon but i just thought i'd sit and do a bit of reading I'm really enjoying my Joe Shallow's book. It is really good. Um, interesting looking at um, sisters and how they interact and there's like st the stepsisters so it's like how they're interacting with this situation that they're in at the moment so yeah I'm really enjoying it um, and I'm going to read for you while longer and then um, we have the bookish sisters book group tonight at eight o'clock online so I'll join in that but I'm going to do some more reading see you later bye Morning, friends. So I've just uh, I'm starting the 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 day. She can't speak. Um, editing 
a video I've just recorded. So this is a book review one. So um, I'm just using my my software at the moment to just get things organised, and it will be up hopefully um, today. But yeah, that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm just editing my video. Well, my editing editing is done, and I'm now just uploading it onto NetGalley. So it should. Oh, sorry, onto NetGalley. What am I saying? Onto YouTube. It'll be live hopefully within the next ten minutes. Well, friends, I have two bananas that um, are past their. You know, you don't want to eat them, so I'm going to make some vegan vegan banana bread. I've just noticed it says three large bananas. I'm only going to use two, so hopefully this will work. Unless I might have one in the freezer. I'll have to have a look and see. But yeah, this is what I plan to make just now. So I'm just going to leave it here so you can see the ingredients. All the ingredients are mixed together, and yes, I did add the optional fruit. I also cut down on the sugar. And I'm just going to put it into this loaf pan, and we use, I use these fantastic loaf pan liners, which is great. It means I don't have to bother with like doing a lot of cleaning, which is lovely. That's that's the batter in the pan. I've actually, as you can see, I've tried to level it off so that hopefully it will bake evenly and it won't sort of hump in the middle and everything else. It'll be nice, a nice flat top. But it's now about to head into the oven for its baking time. Well, the video's live. As I say, I hope you enjoy it. Evening, friends. How are you? Hope you're well, and I hope you've had a good Sunday. I'm sorry I didn't vlog last night. I was just quite tired, but I'd sort of done wee bits and pieces during the day. Um, today's been a very quiet day. I wrote some um, what was called book reviews, and I also did a video that which is already up of the three book reviews that I had done. I enjoyed doing that actually, it was fun to do and then I spent most of the day reading actually um, finished Simply Irresistible by Jill Shelves I did enjoy it but for me there was too many sex scenes um, I didn't feel they were as, necess as necessary um, you know, to have one or some form of kissing, etc., etc. And if it's there a chapter, it's like, oh, come on, get over it. Um, so that annoyed me. I then read more of Night Road by Chris and Hannah. I am, I am liking it. I have problems with it, and I don't think my prob, I think my problems with it are probably going to be not liked. <laughs> It will be interesting to see what Amanda says when we do our, our live our live show. But I don't think what my problems I have with it are going to be very popular, put it that way. But just one of the characters is annoying me, or and has annoyed me from the start. And I just feel that certain things that have happened to one of the characters, okay, she made a mistake and. She, you know, and it was a bad mistake, but I feel there were extenuating circumstances to that mistake, and that what happened to her should not have been as bad as it was. Put it this way. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what Amanda says. We do the live review, but that's that's been my day. It's been nice though, which is fun. But I'm going to end this vlog here and I'll start a new one tomorrow. But I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and that you'll come back and see what I've been doing next week. Okay, see, see you later.